come your life keeps happening to you? How come your world doesn't look the way you want your world to look? How come you feel like you're not in control of your own life, of your own world? Well, there are a lot of reasons, none of which put you in the position of being a victim. So what are the different reasons that things don't look the way you say you want them to? Well, if you're a man, you have 65,000 thoughts. 65,000 thoughts every single day. Ah, but the key is, 95% of those thoughts are happening in your subconscious mind. It's your subconscious mind, not your conscious mind, that makes your world be the way it is. So those 65,000 thoughts, 95% of them, that's 61,750, that leaves a man with only 3,250 new thoughts a day. And if you're a woman, you have 80,000 thoughts a day. And when you lose that 95%, which comes out to be 76,000 thoughts going over and over and over, playing in your subconscious mind, that leaves you with just 4,000 thoughts a day that are new that can come into your awareness that you can choose to act on. Now, what I hear people saying is they put out to the universe what they want, and they have this whole belief in the lessons that they thought the law of attraction was teaching. But it's what you're saying, what you're feeling, what you're acting on that makes the difference of how your world is going to look. People say that they want to live a certain life. They want A, B, C in that order to happen in their life. But it doesn't happen unless you, number one, say it in your heart. You got to mean it. You got to put emotions to it. The universe isn't going to understand or take a communication that's just, oh, this is what I want, and people put out a whole list. Like, really? Yeah, really, a lot of people just do that. So the first thing you got to know is you got to be clear. Most people have these vague wants, these vague wishes, these vague desires. Be very, very specific so that you have the clarity of the direction you want to go in. When you have the clarity, be sure it's coming from your heart, not up here in your mind. Your mind isn't even you. It's your ego mind struggling to stay alive, to keep control of you. It's your commentator that's keeping you from actually being present with me. It's jabbering about everything I'm saying. You're not even listening to me. You're listening to that little commentator yakety yakking in your head. You want to come from your heart, so you bypass that commentator who isn't you at all. And when you're coming from your heart, well, it's something you really and truly desire to make real in your life. But desiring isn't enough you got to take action. Well, how do you know what kind of action to take? Well, first of all, there's a whole list of behaviors that the type of person you say you want to become does. A whole list of action steps that kind of person takes. If you're not willing to take the steps to do the work to get yourself there, well, of course you're not going to get anywhere close to arriving at that goal. So what I've been recommending for about 30 years, I remember 
it was probably 30 years ago, people were saying, if you want to attract a romantic partner, write a list of everything about your partner. What does this person look like? Some people get detail. What color hair? What color eyes? How tall? What does their body structure look like? What do they do for work? What are their likes? What are their dislikes? Well, you can go ahead and make that list. Oh, then they go on to another step and they say, make sure half your dresser drawers are empty so the person can come in. Park your car on one side of the garage so there's room for the other car to come in. Well, what I've been saying for 30 years is make the list of how this person is, how they're being in the world, and you know you attract who you are. You become everything on your list. And then the person who fulfills on your list, someone like you, they're going to come in to your world. You don't have to go looking for them. When the timing is right, it's called divine timing. Because the universe knows what, when, for you. The universe never does anything to you. It does everything for you. Now, there was an episode I did a while back about forgiving, because I believe, I don't just believe, I know, forgiving means forgiving love. Make a list of everyone who's ever hurt you. Well, they weren't hurting you. They were coming into your life to present a barrier, a challenge, so that you get to grow, to become, to step in a direction you never had any intention of going. It wouldn't have occurred to you. But to overcome the situation you find yourself in, you get to overcome the situation that person seemed to have thrust upon you. See, the universe doesn't give you what you want. The universe delivers a situation to you that you need in the moment that's right for you to deal with it, that's right for you to grow through it. And it all happens in perfect timing, not your timing, but in timing that is optimal for you. No, your ego mind doesn't know what that timing is. The universe always knows. Your spirit always knows. So the thing you have to do, well, the thing you can choose to do, is be someone you've never been before so that you can think thoughts you've never thought before, which then allows you to take actions you've never taken before. And what does that do? It lets you have something you've never had before. So the order is be, do, have. On the topic of divine timing, the universe knows what's best for you at the right time for you. You might have your heart set on a particular job or a particular place to live or a particular place you want to go on vacation and it just doesn't fit. It works against you so it can't happen for you. Always remember to ask when you're putting out your request. This or something better. Let me give you an example from my own life. I wanted a car which turned out to be my dream car, the best car I've ever owned in my life. I love it. I wanted a certain model, certain color, certain doodads on it. And when I went to get it after having seen it, I couldn't find it in the color that I wanted. I couldn't find the upholstery color that I wanted. I went for miles and miles around to four different dealerships and nobody had my car. 
looking like I wanted it to look. So I didn't get it right then because I don't like to settle for things. A year later, I was in a different place in my life. And I went to the original dealership where I had seen that car. There it was. My car, my model, the color, the upholstery, everything exactly the way I wanted. And my whole life had changed. And it was the right time for me. I couldn't have known the year before it wasn't the right time. But I made the decision not to settle because I trusted the universe to provide what was in my highest and best interest. So when something doesn't work out for you, it's because out of your awareness, there's a better choice that the universe is waiting to present to you in the right moment. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm really, really glad that you joined us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and mind. And what I'm showing you or leading you to is realizing it's all the invisible forces. It's your subconscious mind that's driving your behavior. Here, here's an example. I was going to a dentist that I'd never been to before in a city I'd never been to before. And it was the other day, and I'm riding along the road, and riding along the road, and I'm thinking, gee, I know there's a Trader Joe's off one of these exits. I'm not sure which one it is, but I know it's in this town. And oh man, exit after exit had another name for that same town. So I thought, well, I'll look it up after I've been to the dentist on my way home. Only I didn't have to do that because the universe took me down the road to the dentist I'd never been to before, and guess what I passed by? I passed by Trader Joe's. So after visiting the dentist on my way back home, I didn't have to go out of my way. I didn't have to guess. I find that I don't very often have to guess how to go or where to go or if, have you ever put in a GPS directions to some place only they don't work? Like the road that it says is there, it stops, it doesn't get where the map says it goes? Rely on the feelings inside because those feelings are connecting you to your spirit, which is connecting you to the universe which is always guiding you to what's in your highest and your best interest at the time. Now, if you haven't done so already, take advantage of the offer from Audible. They're not just about audiobooks. However, when you follow my link, and that's in the show notes, you can choose the audiobook of your choice. On a free 30-day trial, to look around, see all the really cool stuff that's there. And then after 30 days, if you haven't become enamored of Audible, as I've been for very, very many years, you can always cancel before the 30-day 30 30 trial ends, and you still get to keep the book that you chose. Now, given the topic today of actually creating your world that in your heart you desire, you want to know how to do that. The book Born by D. Wallace. I've recommended it before. It's a nice little simple to read with very clear directions and a whole lot of examples. So maybe you can say, oh, that's like me. Oh, I had an experience like that. This is a fit for me. You'll see the link. Go ahead and take advantage of your free trial. Remember to join our Facebook group. Ask questions. Get some extras that I put in there every week. And make a new friend. 
you can always go over to our show site where you can listen to or watch any of our very, very many. We actually have 153 episodes up there. And you can go through and see, oh, this topic looks like one that I'm interested in. And if you haven't done so yet, seeing as how we're talking about a journey and which direction you're going, go ahead, be sure that you download Step in a New Direction, because that will take you there pretty quickly, clear steps in a way that you haven't been going, because if you were going the way you want to go, you'd already be there. I really appreciate your supporting us so that we can be here every week bringing you an even better show than you saw the day before, the week before, the year before. And when you do that, you get to join me for a live video call every month so I can know who you are, you can know who I am, I can know what you're looking for, and we can make sure that you're enjoying and benefiting with exactly what you're searching for. So remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your world happens out there. That's why Deepak Chopra's books, after book, after book, after book, is basically saying, your world doesn't even exist out there, it all exists within. Because you see, hear, taste, touch, smell, within. Because that's where all the signals, that the vibrations are coming from, get interpreted so that your body knows what they are. I look forward to seeing you next week.